Hey guys, welcome to Farmer's Simulator. Ooh. Wait, cool. Yep, I figured out a way of doing this. Fairly simple for me anyway, right now. Unrealistic, I know, but it's easy. Uh, so it's going in the back here, and uh, we're filling up. Just coming up to the silo there. Did that just stop? Oh, it's full. Okay, this is the first time I've actually done the changeovers. So. Stop that. We'll reverse it a little bit. Just like that. Unhook it. Drive forward. And I'll switch that off. Jump into this guy. So, uh, the videos. Why are they coming up so late? YouTube is starting to really piss me off. Uh, it just sits there processing. Um, the video yesterday, that's as far as I'm aware as I'm making this video late at night. I had a hockey game to watch. Um, it's still not up. The video went up live at 3 o'clock in the morning. And it's annoying. <laughs> Something so simple in YouTube has managed to screw it up. I know it's happened to quite a few people. Bill included. So, sorry about that. Uh, can I? Really? I wonder if having the dolly that's causing issues. Or if you have to hook on straight, that'd be a pain in the ass. See, so, yeah, I apologise for that. There we go. But it's completely out of my control. It really is. So I think... I don't know how far we're going to get into the video today, but... This one's only going to be a shorty. It's late enough at night... for me to be recording this. So you may end up seeing this one Saturday. So, return. Hopefully they've got it sorted by them. So yesterday, when I was doing this all off camera, started it. I accidentally wrapped the silo, so I had to go into the game file and figure out how you can unwrap it. And I figured it out. It wasn't actually too bad to do. So we did that and got that back. That would have sucked. I really want to get this field off and probably then do it. And it may even fill it. If it fills it, then I'll just buy a corn header and harvest it up. And that. Put this off to the side. Actually, we'll leave it running. Why? So I actually use this fuel. It did say actually the fuel consumption's gone up in that guy. That's nice. And uh, this, I... For anyone that's going to ask for the download link, I'm sorry. I do not know where this comes from. Raven, or Sam Thomas on YouTube, downloaded it. And he had it in his uh, system. And he put it up, well, put it wanted it on the dedicated server, so honestly I have no idea where this guy came from. It's probably a mod hoster, but I really don't know. Uh, what else are we doing? Take this look right for a quick spin. So yeah, why am I doing another video, video on this map? <sighs> Mainly because i got something to do straight off the bat, I'm not sure where I left off on the other map, without having to go back and look. What is this? Oh, this is the peas. Oops. Yeah, so Yeah, that's right. But I need the semi trailer, so. It's not often I'm gonna be doing two things at once with the semi, so we can wait. I know why I always use this guy to run around places. I really like it. Got the pickup there, it's just I find it too loud sometimes. 
Uh, still need to get the pressure washer, I just do not know where to put that. Uh, I was playing around last night and this is... I actually got the water mod, I didn't realise. That makes stuff in... Okay. <laughs> X-ray. X-ray beam there. Yep. Allows me to see into the future. Uh, so yeah, this is the water tank. It's the first time I've ever played around with this stuff. So it's new to me, completely new. Uh, the wheat goes in there, and I believe that is potatoes, so we're going to need to do some potatoes at some point to keep that full. I'm guessing the potatoes... I'll just do a little tour on this map. Uh, you can unload them here, and the way he's got it set up is kind of cool. It's going to lag like a bitch when I do this, but you'll see, actually you may not. Should we say, yeah, down underneath is the building from the stock map to unload the stuff. That was loud. Um, but here's the conveyor belts. So I'm guessing we unload it over here in sort of the main building in grain dry kind of thing. Sheep. Yeah, I bought some sheep. Uh, yeah, yeah, I just bought sheep. Oh, that's a pallet cool. So I'm guessing as I guess Philip moves around or not. Uh, so yeah, that's really about it. New stuff. Get silage, fill this guy up so it doesn't yell at me each time I come in game saying, Hey, I'm empty. Salad one's empty. Come fill me. Auto mixer. Gonna love that. Really don't need to worry about bales and stuff like that. Especially as I like bailing now and handling them. This map really doesn't have the space to store them. Especially with the bell extension modding, where you need to do it really. Because the bells will go away kind of thing <laughs> and screw up. So, uh, I will say this uh, on the videos. If you feel like you've missed a video, go back and check. They're probably there now. Or, probably there. I did notice... Not many people have seen the other one yet by the looks of it. And of course, I know this is going to happen. It's irritating, to say the least. Kind of cool how it probably shows it being blown from there. Sometimes it glitches and you can kind of see where it's coming from. This is a kind of a cool mod. It's pretty basic interior, but outside it looks nice, and I love the engine though, the turbo whistle there. I really hear it's a turbo spoiler. That looks kind of cool. I didn't really want to use the crone on this map, it does have a bigger header, but you don't, I know they're over there, but you don't see the crones too much in America. Like one lonely farmer says, he knows the big M mower, it's a fantastic mower, he likes it. It's just part support, and I can see where he's coming from. Crone's based in Germany. I think. So, anywhere in Europe, UK, yeah, you can get the parts fairly quick. And there's dealers in the UK. I know of one that's fairly close. But, to get the parts in North America, good luck. I mean, you don't want that machine down. These machines cost a lot of money. A lot of money. So, he has uh, windrows. Plan on getting a John Deere one. It'd be kind of cool to farm some had some good windrows. I know there's a couple floating around, but the pile's crap. And even farms in 13. They were shit. In all honesty. I'm not going to beat around the bush on that one. They were not too good. It'd be kind of cool if there was a decent mod for that, or maybe a uh, DLC. But, yeah, I doubt. The downside to using cosplays, it does miss a chunk. I was using auto, com uh, auto combine and driving by the side of it to do the headland. And I realised, hmm, I wonder. <laughs> and it works. I know uh, I saw one comment in the video that went up the other day saying, hey, I can help. Appreciate it, but no effects. The reason I do that is it's a pain in the ass. It really is. I know within two seconds of asking Recon Raven, Deputy, they'd all come on. That one of them would come on and help if needs be, but. Sometimes I like doing this stuff by myself. I'm one of these guys that I get bored really quick on multiplayer from time to time. I 
I just sometimes like farming like this by myself. Sometimes the help is useful. Or oh, is it full? Already? No. Nice if it was a quicker way of swapping over like this. But there is that. Be nice if there was a hotkey for cause like that to stop and start. I think there is too, but I don't know. Right, back up a good amount. Learn from our mistake there. Unhook. Pull up. Oh, too far. Jump into this guy. It's starting to get dirty quicker to this truck. It's one thing I have noticed. Well, like I said, I'm going to aim for around 20 minute mark in this video. Um, chances are you're going to end up seeing it sadder the way YouTube's been. Alright. Uh, what's going to be the quicker route? About the same, I'll just go around the field. What I'm actually thinking about is getting two semi trailers and then having one on the back of this, wherever it stops I can quickly swap and this guy could be carrying it on. I think that would be more efficient for next time maybe. I'm not going to do it now. And then in between I could be working on this guy. Well, the other field should I say. And of course for real life you wouldn't be doing this with the truck driving over the pile because you'd have tractors with shields on pushing it up into the pile where you want it to begin, but yet again, farming sim realism strikes again and doesn't allow you to do that. That could have actually been really bad for me, because it could have covered it. I said, I've said it time and time again about giants, is they really have not done any R&D in the agricultural world, it seems, and the stuff they have in the game. Small things, and other stuff that modders make available, like doing that and pushing the silage correctly. No, you don't do it in the game. It's could be a fine line between having a game or a simulator. Now if you put in the word simulation in the title, it's kind of a bold statement as it's a sim. But nowadays with so many crappy simulators out there and getting out there onto the mainstream market, what does simulator mean nowadays? Tow truck simulator, garbage truck simulator for God's sake, street cleaner simulator? Really? <laughs> to me, when you say simulation, I think of Microsoft Flight Simulator. Just going back to a game that is a hardcore simulator. And then you've got other games that are sort of aircraft based that are even hardcore, sort of hardcore simulation. And they don't even have the word simulator in there. Can't remember the name of them, but you pretty much need to know every key and every switch in the plane cockpit to get that thing off the ground. The game I'd quite like, but then I wouldn't like because it's a it's heavily simulator. I like I like the balance. It's just farm sim. I think would be a better game if it was full on sim. I know there's a few people that do share this same opinion when it comes down to giants. be surprising if it uh, comes down to the money aspect, but probably is what it is. I would have thought they'd be making plenty of money having it on PC, consoles. And of course the comment I see a lot is, when's it coming out for console? I've seen May 15th thrown around, well no, May yeah, May 15th, thrown around a lot. I know it's coming out in May somewhere. Somewhere. Then, from time to time, I see the question, can you record it for a console? I've got no interest in getting this game on console. It being on console wrecks it, in my opinion. It's You can't mod it. The only thing you can do is just buy the DLCs. And even then, you're really limited. And it seems like there's a lot of people that like it on console. Maybe because they haven't got a laptop or computer to run farm sim. And in all honesty, this version of farm sims more intense than it ever has been, surprisingly. And there's a lot of people that can't run it now. So it does suck for those people. 
And I don't know, in all honesty, if I'm seeing the consoles any different. It's something that I'm never going to play. And if the game ever goes to console only, that it probably never will. Giants will never see, receive another penny from me, from me, because it would never get on console. But it's all as if it's all you've got. It's all you've got. And I'm pretty sure it's May. Fifteenth. I've seen it floating around quite a few times. I know it's 100% May. Unless they put it back, that I doubt, but you never know. Alright, let's go get stayed here for now. We ain't gonna harvest yet. What are you doing? Sometimes it stops like this. You just need to keep going. And then pick it up back up. Screwed up like that yesterday. Yeah, I'm going to make a good go again. Some cows down and probably some pigs. Oh, here's a mod that I downloaded yesterday, actually. i got another one that's not showing up in game, as far as I know. So it's a water tank and mod. Trucks. I wanted to try it. And it's still not showing. And it was the Mercedes-Benz trucks. The ones that have been out for a long time. Kind of surprised they're not showing. Good. I don't want another John Deere. Are they, they're in tractors? Really? Yeah, so I wanted to try these guys out. I don't have enough money, so I've got no front clicking on them. So that's the highway version, I guess, and that's the off road. Why are they being tractors? They look really nice machines, and I wanted to try them. So let's let's do that in a minute. So here's the water tank mod. I can't remember the site I got it from. It's huge. It doesn't need to be this big. It's just I don't want to keep on refilling it. So we've got this guy. Really looks nice, actually. Really does. So we've got that. Give the sheep some water and the cows and the pigs. When I get pigs. And somewhere actually, I can't remember if I put it in there. No, my, no, me. It's gonna be. Where did this come from? <laughs> I don't remember installing that. I wonder if that come from the crawler pack, maybe. Okay, it's not in there. What would it be? In? Hopefully, I put it in. So right now you guys are seeing all the mods I've got. This is all the crawler pack. And you'll spread out just some marshals, weights. Telling handler. All the crawler tractors under the sun. So what I'm looking for is the animal trailer. I don't know if I actually put it in a car, remember. Sorry, thanks. Just that stock one. Well, I say stock. Multiple forestry mods. Miscellaneous. Front loader. Really curious where that came from. And in there, bell technology won't be in here. Really doubt it being placeables. Clearly not in trucks, dollies. Ah, oh, I could have got the double. Never mind. Should have actually. Sprayers. Org wagons, that. Wheel loaders. Yep. Nope. Didn't put it in. And probably at 20 minutes. Ah, uh, what was I going to do? I was going to add money into that buy it, but I won't. Well, uh, screw it. I should do something interesting on video. What was it? 260? 268 I'm going to put in. Did I drastically give myself too much money? Oh yeah, it's not in there.
Oh, two secrets for life. Well, it's got to be orange. Just has to be. I've gone over 21 minutes. Oh, 20 minutes, so. Let's go find out. I just want to see what it looks like. And there we are. So, this is one of the originals that come out for Farm Sim. So, first impressions. Hmm. Mm. Yeah, not good. Looks okay. Could do with a lot of rework in there. Anyway, guys, I'm going to wrap up the video here. Mm, yeah. Well, give it a good test, I think. But uh, I don't think it will stay. So I hope you enjoyed the video. You'll see it when you see it. I'm guessing it's going to be Saturday, but I'll upload it Friday. I do apologise. Uh, if you feel like you've missed a video, go back and check them. Chances are. Depends who's watching right now, but... It's probably only the hardcores watching to the very end. Anyway, guys, hope you guys enjoyed. Catch you guys later. See ya.